In the final part of this series where we looked at how to find the wavelength of light for a transition in the hydrogen atom, we left off with question number three. And in question number three we asked, an electron in the n is equal to six level of the hydrogen atom relaxed to a lower energy level, emitting light of lambda is equal to 93.8 nanometers. Find the principal level to which the electron relaxed. So we've been given the wavelength, and that's much different than what we had to do in question one and two where we were looking for the wavelength. This time we're actually looking for the n final, this part. We've been given n initial, that's six, and we have to algebraically manipulate an equation to find out what n final is. Now that's gonna require some work. We need this formula. This formula relates h, c, and lambda to the change in energy. And we will replace this formula into here. So let's go ahead and sort this out. So the formula we're working with is the Rydberg equation, and that's right here, that's delta E. That will be an absolute. So whatever we find, it becomes positive. I'll write down absolute R sub H, bracket one over and final squared, that's our target, minus one over an initial squared, close absolute, is equal to h times c over lambda. We have the right side, h is our Planck's constant, and that is six decimal six to six times 10 to the power of negative 34. Multiply two, the speed of light, three decimal zero zero, times 10 to the power of eight meters per second. Now the reason why I wrote 10 meters per second is because here we have our wavelength in nanometers. That needs to be converted into meters because of this. So I'll write down nine, three decimal eight nanometers times, and for every 10 to the power of nine nanometers, we'll have one meter. So we'll do this conversion as we're multiplying everything. Now on the left side we have R sub H, that's Rydberg's constant, we'll use this. We have negative 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 18. 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 18. That's being multiplied to one over N F squared, that's what we're looking for. And for here I'll write down one over 36 because six to the power of two is 36. Now, let's find out what the right side is equal to. We'll use our calculator. We have the top part is 6.626 times 10 to the power of negative 34. That's being multiplied to the speed of light. And if we divide this by the number underneath, which is 93.8 divided by 10 to the power of nine. We just found the right side, now we have to find the left side. So you can write this down or keep it in your calculator. I'll write it down just in case, 2.119. And now I'll focus on the left side. Now to focus on the left side, what I could do is first divide out this factor. And if I divide it, I have to keep in mind that it is an absolute, so it is positive. So if I divide this number now by this factor, and mind you it's positive, 2.18 times 10 to the power of negative 18, I end up with this number. So I have 0 0.9721, I'll keep three significant figures. So over here I should have had three, and I kept four just for good measure. And after dividing by this positive number, I end up with 0 0.972, and to three significant figures, that's 0 0.972, that's it. But I'll write down one zero just in case. 0 0.97210, keeping in mind that this is the last significant figure that we keep. So we have this number is equal to one over n final squared minus one over 36. By having divided this factor, I don't need these brackets anymore, so I'll take this number over and I end up with the number here, plus, because it's negative, one over 36. 
Now, of course, if you don't have a calculator like this, it's going to take a longer to do. We end up with this number. And so I have 0 0.998, 0 0.9998 to three significant figures. I'll just put a dot. I'm not ready to completely round off. 1 over n sub f. And now I will reciprocate both sides. If I reciprocate this side, I end up with n f squared. And if I reciprocate this side, I'll make this 1 over the number that I just found. I end up with this, 1. So 1.00. Now if I square root both sides, I end up with my n final, 1. So it goes from an energy level of 6 all the way to 1. And there you have it. That is how to find the wavelength of light for a transition in the hydrogen atom.